So, uh, PG Braun here for Iron Mag Labs with Jason Genova. This is uh, Genova's Witness, part two. Part two. And uh, you'll see, I believe, if, if, if uh, I'm correct, uh, that we have videotaped that we are outside of, of Publix. Right? You got that on video, I'm sure, Aaron? Yeah. And uh, the, the specific reason that we are here is because uh, I have now sent Jason uh, his, his meal plan three times. <laughs> not one time, not two times, three times. And he, he can't seem to get it right. So I called him up and I said, Jason, why, why can't you do this diet? Like, what is the problem? And uh, Jason, can you explain to us what the main problem is? The problem is? is lack of funds. I've been having trouble with, you know, lack of funds. And the thing is, is um, it's expensive. Food's costly. It costs a lot of money, food. It costs a lot of money for food. I mean, it, once you buy weekly, I mean, it costs. It does. It adds up. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I'm trying to make it impossible for Jason to mess this up. So what we're going to do is Iron Mag Labs is going to uh, provide Jason with a starting uh, amount of groceries. So That's actually not true. Me and PJ are going <laughs> to yeah, Okay. <laughs> so, so basically, Aaron and I, <laughs> this, is, this is actually, uh, the truth is, uh, we, we don't want to look bad. We want to see Jason, Jason look good. Yep. So it's a combination of things going on. We want Jason to look good. We don't want to look bad. We got to do whatever we can do. I'm starting to think maybe the only way for him to truly look good would be as if I had him move into my house with me and I, I observed <laughs> his every minute. <laughs> we're not to that point yet, but I am going to buy Jason some groceries today. So that's what we heard. I want, I want Jason, because he said he's been studying. I want Jason to let, let's go over a little bit of, of what's on your diet, Jason. Um, and he has I lost weight. He says he has lost weight. So yeah, we're yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll little. see. We haven't seen him since that day. So uh, let's go over. So I lost weight. Um, this is what I was saying. I get up in the morning and I have a cup of I have eggs, 40, 40 grams, 40 grams of protein of egg whites. What else do you have with the egg whites? And then I have two third cups of oatmeal, and then I have um, a, a, a grapefruit. Okay. A slice of grapefruit. Accurate so far. Slice of grapefruit, I believe. Okay, I believe. And then I have meal meal two. I have um, um, ch chicken, um, seven ounces of chicken, or um, 99% ground lean uh, uh, turkey turkey, with uh, two half slices. You told me to cut them in half. Zuzuki. Two slices of of what it was specific kind of bread. Ezekiel bread. <laughs> Ezekiel bread. It's, it's, a, bread. it's a flourless bread. Yeah, flour. It's made from a blend of sprouted grains. I'm a big Ezekiel advocate. We'll see how long that he's allowed to eat that for. And then um, with a, you said I could have a, a little bit. I don't know if this is correct, but this is what you said. You said I could have a little bit of. Uh, I can't believe it's not butter on it. The spray, but, yes. Spray. Mm -hmm. At this point, this far out, I have no problem with that whatsoever. Um, see, this is not going to be like one of those. Uh, little bullshit macronutrient follow for your macronutrient type diets. You can't, you, I can do that and get results, okay? Um, and there's a lot of people out there right now, I'm not going to name names, but there's a lot of people out there right now that are all into the eating for your macros plan. You know what? I could do that, and so can Aaron. But sometimes there's people out there that are newbies, um, and uh, this is not getting guru, this is factual, and I'll, I'll, I'll debate this to anybody, that, that actually need a, a, a plan mapped out specifically for them. And then um, in the meal three I have, <laughs> let's go back to my meals. Yeah. Meal three I have ch seven ounces of chicken again, or 99% ground lean turkey with, um, with yams or greens. Mm -hmm. and You're then, doing pretty good so far. And then four I have... How much uh, yams? How much yams? Uh, uh, one as much yam. as you want? One whole yam? <laughs> How many ounces is it? I think it's six ounces. Okay. I believe. And then uh, meal uh, meal meal four, I have um, ninety seven ounces of chicken with um, with um, ninety or ninety nine percent ground lean turkey with um, with um, cream of wheat rice. Cream of uh, cream of <laughs> cream of rice. How much cream of rice? Uh, this is a tough one here. If the measurement on this one is key. Ooh, a cup. A cup. <laughs> no, a, a cup. It's a dry measurement. What is the dry measurement? Uh, can I say six ounces? <laughs> okay. A, cu a cup, if you dry measured cream of rice, like your average, like Uncle Ben's cream of rice, would be like 150 grams of carbs. So that's definitely not what I told you. I believe that I told you to eat a quarter of a cup, which a is a, a typical cup. serving. Okay. okay. So that's uh, that's most likely the case there. What else we got, Jason? Um, then I uh, meal uh, five. Then I have uh, a chicken, seven ounces of chicken or ground lean turkey with greens, and that cut out the 
carbs to see greens. Mm-hmm. And then six, I have. A but there's there's no fats at that meal. <laughs> it's like a test. <laughs> Come on, Jason, you know this. Yeah, there's. You can add carbs if you. Want. No, no, you can't add carbs at that meal. But you have you were specifically told to eat a certain fat at that meal. I'm gonna quiz you on it. What fat were you supposed to add to that meal? Uh. It was a tablespoon of something. Oh, I, I, I know what it is. <laughs> okay, what is it? Tell amino last. <laughs> No, it's a fat and amino acid without quads. <laughs> uh, maybe some oil or butter of some uh, sort, uh, or peanut butter uh, or something. Maybe no, like peanut this. butter. No, uh, it was extra virgin olive oil. Oh, virgin that's olive. what I. That's what it is. Okay, so it's safe to say you haven't been doing that right. The last, uh, the last one. The last one, a protein shake, two tablespoons of isolated whey protein with a tablespoon of peanut butter, and then there was another one I forgot, but I don't have it in my arsenal yet. So here's the deal. What we're trying to do is I actually want to see if Jason can eat a balanced meal plan first uh, with just basic foods. Uh, and the reason that, that I'm doing this is I, if he is doing exactly what I tell him to do, if, after about two weeks of this, I should have a good idea of if he's doing exactly what I, what I, what I want him to do, of how his body is going to respond to the next phases. So, you know, uh, I think the easiest way to do it with Jason would be to do a ketogenic plan because you could just have him doing three shakes uh, and you know just uh, protein and fats and tell him to eat no carbs. But I don't want to do that. I want to try to see if I can get Jason eat, eating a balanced plan. Let's, let's ask Jason honestly, now that we're standing here together, just total honesty, how much of this diet have you been doing? Obviously not the whole thing. What percentage? Have you been doing half of it? How many McDonald's have you had? You no, know, McDonald's, no McDonald's, how, how, so no McDonald's. How, so how, what percentage have you been doing of the diet? And then when you're not doing it, what are you eating? Uh, I'm doing it like 98%. 98%? Yeah. What else have you had that maybe may or may not have been on this diet? If I don't lie, I'm going to be honest. We want be you to honest, be honest, please. yeah. Uh, I had uh, uh, sugar-free popsicle. Okay. The worst thing that's, you had if that's the worst right? thing that you, you've had, then we're okay. Let's go weigh them in and go to grocery. Uh, we're going to go do some shopping now. We're gonna... 206. 206, 207 here. Yeah. He's got some clothes on. So he is down from where he was. What, is he, what was he down? 215? He was 215. Two, 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 two. Very different scales, so we'd, uh, we don't know exactly how accurate the scales may or may not be. There's a number of schools of thought for how you can actually approach this, but I'm trying to go for efficiency and, and what's easy. So we're forgetting about pure organic stuff like that. We want to make sure Jason cannot mess this up. And what I think is the easiest approach is these... They don't necessarily have to be Tyson, uh, but these are going to work out really easy because the, the serving size is going to work out good for his meals. It does say all natural on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, a, a lot of these uh, these frozen ones are injected with like different sodiums and things like that. We're not, I don't care about any of that. I just want him to be able to eat his damn chicken. So uh, each one of these... How many? This is a day and a half of his chicken in each one of these. Yeah, right? so we're, we're going we're to say it's roughly two days based on if he eats the other meals. So we're going to try to get him a week's worth of the chicken uh, we don't know. Jason is not really sure uh, how much room he actually has in his freezer. These are about, about $13, $14 each. So we'll give him four. four. So we'll give him four. So that's, that's enough for him to defrost one of these and cook it right away and then have three left for the rest of the week. Yes. Yeah. Is that okay, Jason? That's awesome. Okay. Let's All right, move on. Move on. All right, I gave Jason the option of also having lean ground turkey or ground chicken. We're going to get him a couple of these. We're not going to go crazy with these because he's actually going to have to brown these up, potentially season them, which I would. Um, and I don't know uh, if that's going to be too much work for him or not, but we are still going to give him the option of having these. I think one's different, PJ. Okay, so Jason didn't mention this in the beginning, but he is eating one red meat meal. We're going to get him a flank steak because he can just grill this in one shot, and it's two pounds, so this will work out to being like four meals for him. Um, he can keep the rest in the freezer, the fridge, um, but it's going to be easy for him because he can just cook it all in one shot. All right, so we're going to just get him a bunch of yams. I explained to Jason, it's pretty simple. Pre the oven to like 450 degrees, make a slice in each one, put them in there, let them go for like an hour. It's okay to, to actually cook them a little longer. The stuff oozes out and they're really, really good when they're like that. And then he can weigh them all after. It's, uh, it's going to be really hard for him to mess this up and he can cook a bunch of them at once. I'm going to help you guys all out because I find it often with clients that they tell me that they can never find cream of rice. Cream of rice is going to be in two spots. It's going to be in either the cereal section where we are right now, next to the hot cereals, uh, your oats, your cream of farinas, things like that, or it's going to be in your baby food section because they start babies on that. Always look for this one in the little orange pack. 
Very little nice, friendly, smiling black gentleman on there. That's your guy right there. This is what you want. This is the cream of rice. Very good stuff. Now, right in the same spot, we're going to have him do quick oats because he can microwave these and it's really hard to mess this up. We want things for Jason that he cannot mess up. Uh, the actual like glycemic index between... Hold on, Jason, do you have any measuring tools to measure this stuff out with? Like half a cup, a cup, a quarter cup? Mm. You don't have any cups to measure? That would be important. To get some measuring. Maybe we'll have to get a measuring cup too. Um, the glycemic uh, measurement between a, a quick oat and an actual like whole oat is really not all that dramatic that, it, that he has to do one or the other. So he's totally fine with the quick oats. Cream of rice, boom, two birds, one stone in the same spot. For the future, I'm going to want him to get like uh, Lana's egg whites or muscle egg or something because these are expensive. Um, but this is again something that he can't m uh, mess up because the measurements are listed for him right on the side. All he does is pour them into a measuring cup. You can actually drink these if you want to. Two will let. Oh, we'll get him three. You, you figure I have him doing 40 gram servings, so um, you have to drink. If you if you if you, have that about, huh? you have to measure it out, it's like one of these is only going to get you like two breakfasts, slightly more than that. But we'll just say two breakfasts. So it's about a week's worth right there. You're doing pretty good so far, Jason. You got a lot of food in here. This is going to be a good. Yeah. This is going to be a good. Grabbing some frozen greens for Jason. I actually like uh, my greens fresh. But like I said, we're trying to make this efficient for him. It still fits his macros. All right, I didn't even, I've never shopped for uh, all-natural peanut butter at a regular Publix before. I like Trader Joe's Whole Foods, but they actually do have some all-natural peanut butter here for Jason. Smuckers. This is a huge one. This should last him for a while. Yeah. So there's his all-natural peanut, peanut butter. Oh, one That's it. Yeah. All right, extra virgin olive oil is one of Jason's fats. Get the good one. Get the one made by the Paisans, Cold Vita. Don't get that fake store shit that's in, in a plastic bottle. You want it in a dark glass like this. Fiber, we're letting him do sugar-free Metamucil. This actually tastes good, too. Uh, and he'll mix this right in with his shake at night. Um, we'll use this for numerous reasons. Uh, mainly it'll clean him out in the morning, but there's a lot of other benefits to fiber, heart health, things like that, that I'm not getting into in the video. We're just buying his damn groceries. He's bringing it all in. I'm bringing it all up and helping feed it. It's like Jason hit the lottery. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put half on one card and half on the other. Yeah, sure. Okay. How much do we want? It's completely split down the middle. So there you go, $166 grocery bill. Uh, he has no excuse to not do this right. Now, we are either really, really nice, really, really dumb, <laughs> really, really, really brilliant, or all of the above, I suppose. It's really, it's really up to Jason to prove what, yeah. which one of those we are. You, you have to follow this now, Jason. You have no excuse, yeah, okay? No you made some mistakes already, yeah. but now you have no excuse because no you have all the foods for you. Yep. You know how to do it. Yep. And um, we'll see what happens in, in the <laughs> Genova's Witness Part 3.